to bring some things to you out of my book tonight. God loves you. He's got such good things for you. He wants to refresh you, encourage you. But we got to give it all. We got to give it all to him. And I don't mean work more. All right, I'm going to make that clear tonight. I'm not talking about working more for God. I'm talking about inside here. Amen. So how do we go from high hills to high places? Let me share something from my book. There's a story of some church ladies in the Bible. And I also want to tell you about the conflict between men and women, because I feel like everything goes back to the garden. Amen. God created it all there and he said it was good and he made woman for man and they were in love and everything was going great until they sinned. And that's still the way it is today. Right. And once we get into all those things that are wrong, it messes up the relationship. It breaks it up, breaks hearts, breaks lives. See this young man this morning that I heard about that 19 year old took his life. Sister came in and he'd hung himself. Just heartbreaking. His folks had divorced. His dad had been a youth pastor. And, you know, little kids, they see the church and they see all these things and they want God and they just believe God can do anything until mom and dad say God can't do anything. And when mom and dad say that, then it breaks their little hearts and they never quite get over that without the power of God at least. And so my desire is I want to help you find your identity. I want to help you find what God has for you. And I'm just going to run through this real quick. You can put it up on the Screen, if you've got it, I've got a quick PowerPoint. Keep me on track, all right? Because Minister Mia gave me some things that she wanted me to share, so I want to make sure I cover this. You know, my book is called She Gets It because I was searching for it. I was looking for where, God, where is it? You know, I believe there was a God. I just didn't sell out to him. I didn't really give him my life. I knew there was someone that created everything, but I wasn't too sure who he was or what he was. My desire tonight is that I want to help you find your identity and your value so you can make right choices and live a meaningful life. I believe the desire of every woman is to be loved and love the woman she's become through all the seasons and changes of life. I want to help you make right choices to get there because I do believe your choices matter. I believe the things you choose to do with your time, your life, your money, your talent, it's going to make all the difference in your life. You are unique. You are uniquely designed. There is a designer for our lives in a world. So there's also a plan and purpose and function for your life. If God created you, he created you with something in mind, right? You are not an accident. You didn't just arrive on the planet. You weren't just a decision of a man and a woman, but God knows you. He designed you. And that design and purpose was lost at the fall. The fall brought a curse against men and women. The Bible says in Genesis 3, I'll share you the curse that's on men. Cursed is the ground because of you. Through painful toil, you will eat of it all the days of your life. It will produce thorns and thistles for you. This is what my husband and I call the earth-cursed system. God made everything good, but then because of sin, the scripture says cursed is the ground because of you. Not because of God, but because of what they chose, because of you. And it'll produce thorns and thistles. So I believe the curse on men is that men are trying to find their identity they're either running after money, they're the workaholic, or they're running from making money because of the pressure of providing for their family. They're afraid of it. They don't want to do it. They don't want to try it because they don't want to fail at it. And so that's the pressure on men. Then the curse on women. You will have pain in childbirth, a longing desire for your husband and his attention, but it will go unfulfilled. Women are desperate to be loved and valued. And if you look around our culture, you'll see women, they'll sacrifice anything and everything for the love of a man, for the love of somebody, for someone that says you're valuable. They'll even put up with abuse. They'll even be battered. They'll make decisions that are bad. They'll use their body in a way they shouldn't use it. They'll break the word of God and break their heart in the process, just trying to get love. That's the curse on men and women. He's busy going after things and stuff and trying to make a living and trying to provide. And she's busy running after him, trying to get his attention, trying to get his affection, trying to get his love. We're all looking for love in one form of another or another. She's looking for love and leadership from a man, but he's preoccupied. Money escapes pressure. He's, he's looking for respect. Amen. He's looking for respect because he's got all this pressure on him from the earth curse system to provide or make money. 